Now that I have my form embedded in my page and it's working, I want to do some some customizing on it. Uh, unfortunately, here's where these things get a little clunky. Uh, by these things, I mean online services, especially free services. Now, you're kind of limited in the way you can customize these forms, or at least through your CSS. It seems that the way that Zoho wants me to uh, style my form with a free account is uh, if I go to access this application and then I go under more actions and embed in your website uh, right there I have the customize uh, form properties and look and feel and I have the ability to um, mess around with all these let's see and uh, here's all these other options that I have, which are fine. Um, the only thing that kind of uh, what I don't like about this situation is, for example, if you wanted to change the fonts on your website, you would change it through your CSS and make that change global to every element on the page. But now, if you do that and you go to your contact page, you're going to see that your contact page may have uh, different fonts that are being customized through this form instead of through your CSS so now as the designer if you know this is a professional project it's up to you to remember to one that the styles of this form are being governed a little bit differently than uh, uh, through your CSS, and two, to actually make that change. So you just see how it's kind of a lot of extra effort, uh, or it can be anyway. Now, I haven't used Zoho's paid service, um, so maybe that allows you more flexibility. I mean, I'm assuming it does, because if I'm paying for this service, I certainly don't want to have this powered by Zoho creator icon over here so I'm assuming that you'd be able to take that out um, but I'm not gonna get overly critical of myself right now I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and at the very least I need to actually center this thing I wanna center the contact uh, or the 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 form uh, right smack in the center of this container over here um, so this tech, just doing that is pretty straightforward. You define a, well first we'd wrap this, uh, this form up in a div ID and then we'd set a width to that div ID and give it automatic margins on the left and on the right. So that's pretty much how we, uh, centered everything from our, from the table to some of the pictures to, uh, to all the stuff that we have. We didn't do that with the video. Um, the contact is going to be no different. So let me go to my HTML and right where I pasted that code over there I'm going to wrap it up in a div container. So actually I could probably move this. Oh, oops. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go div ID equals um, put contact form. All right and let me copy that and then I will terminate terminate it and I'm gonna add a note for myself ends content form so I just know the difference between these two okay cool so now I'm gonna go to screen.css by the way don't let this other stuff mess with you this is stuff that you you didn't create and this is all coming from Zoho forms if you see that I actually happen to have live view and inspect enabled and now I just tried to unclick them okay there we go and take live view off so uh, if you got live view it brings in all that iframe extras so um, okay anyway there we go so I I wrapped that div container now I'm gonna go into my CSS and whoops let me go down here and so what am I going to do? I'm going to put contact form. It's an ID, so I need to start with the hash. And now let me give this thing a width. I'll just set a width arbitrarily, 500 pixels. And then I'll go margin. I'm going to up and down 0, and then left and right is going to be auto, right? So I'll save that, and let's see what happens to my form. 
not quite centered because the distance between that border and that border versus that one is a bit different. You see, it's a little off center. Um, it took me a little bit to figure out why that was. And what I did is I went to inspect, let's see, I clicked live view and inspect view in uh, Dreamweaver. And I saw how this thing seems to have some extra spacing right over here. So this whole blue represents the iframe that I'm getting from Zoho, which I, I don't have any control over. Um, and if this is, uh, if this is being sized this way automatically because I'm looking at the CSS code I'm looking rather at the HTML code it gives me a height but then it gives me a width of a hundred percent I'm not sure what's going on here so I'm gonna kind of instead of me messing with the Zoho code here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into Firefox and using the web developer tool I go to under miscellaneous its display ruler so what I want to do is see exactly how big the top of how big this thing guy is and I'm kinda of a little bit off but let's see let me try to space it in there just right okay oops I mean, I'm getting a little pixel perfect over here. You see how the box I created it goes right against that. So now, up at the top, uh, what did I do? Whoops, I messed that up. Basically, I wanted to get a measurement for this guy. Uh. Yeah, I'll take a pixel off of that. So that's about, let's see, uh, it says 463 my width. My width is going to be 462. So let me go back in my CSS and go 462. I'm going to save it. And now, if I refresh this thing, okay, pretty good. Now those are some even borders over there. I like it. I like it. So that works for me. I may want to push this guy down a little bit. So let me just fine tune it real quick. So I'm going to start off now with my margin. Here's my margin shorthand. So this represents top. I actually want my top to maybe go down 20 pixels. I want my left to be uh, my right to be auto. I want my bottom to be zero, and I want my left to be auto. So now this should perfectly position this guy. Yeah, or whoops, I wanted to go down a little bit further. Maybe we need 120. Yeah, that's a bit much, but okay. So that attribute works. Cool, that's a little bit better. Let's see. Hey, that works for me.